All right. Just chill out while this gets loaded up here. Looks like we're going. So yeah, we're gonna try out something new today. This deck beat me in the challenge, or in the PTQ this weekend. So I figured we'd give it a try. Um, we're gonna just kinda have some fun too after jamming some Death Shadow for 17 or 18 rounds this weekend. So, I'm gonna give this a try. I decided to change up a couple things. Like I just wanted to like do something different, have a bit more of a Bit more of a fun time. Like I added a torrential gear Hulk and a glimmer of genius to a deck list that I found, and added an opt just so that I could have uh, more. Uh, what was I gonna say? Have more instants to bring back with the gear Hulk. So we're gonna we're gonna give this deck a whirl tonight. I've been searching. I've been wanting to play various Snapcaster Mage plus Search Fred's Cantor deck, and this is basically just a big Snapcaster Mage. So. I want to give this one out, give this one a whirl as well. So, jump into a league quick. <clears throat> Run through a league tonight. And then call it a night, as I've got to be up pretty early tomorrow. <clears throat> this was a sad league. I literally beat... I played against some weird blue-black control deck and lost to it in the third round. Then I beat blue-white control, which was amazing. And then I just, like, died against Affinity. Just played, like, absolute garbage. Or just drew, like, garbage and, like, just ran me over. So it was just, like, a very poor performance from the deck. But I do kind of want to give this deck a whirl. I give it enough. I give it enough flack where I should at least give it a chance. Figure this out. Oh look at that! MTGO bot. MTG bot is on time today. That's impressive. All right, won the die roll. I would like to play first. <clears throat> and we'll keep this. Nothing special, but. We have our land destruction package, so that if we do need it, we can. We have a little bit of interaction. I think this is a key. Like if this isn't a keep with this deck, then I don't really know what is. All right. I would assume that this is like. An okay matchup before sideboarding, and then it gets better after sideboarding. Okay. Go to the end step. And then we will opt. I don't think this is what we want. Maybe we just want to, we're digging for like a wrath. Okay, land's not terrible. Okay, so do I want a Spreading Seas, or do I just want a Path to Exile this? Well, the Signal Pest. I think I want a Spreading Seas. Just dig. I mean, this is like isn't a very good Spreading Seas, but I kind of just want to dig. Like, I'd love to be able to hit a Creature Land, but... I don't really want to... There's not really a target that I want to Path quite yet. And I'd like to dig a little further in my deck. And we have a Field of Ruin that can deal with the Creature Land if we need to. Blue, white. We've got Nets Champion coming down. No, Steel Overseer. So that's pathable. And I might just, like, Field of Ruin this in my main phase, and then path this in my main phase. Because I would assume that... It, I don't think they play two basics. Yeah, that seems like what we're going to do here. So go here. 
get a planes and path is overseer. This field ruins gas. Then we're kind of out of action, but we have a glimmer, which we'll be able to play next turn to do some digging. Oh, I got two basics. Okay. Am I getting Gal Blast? I don't know. One, two, Arcbound Ravager. Okay. A jar. A jar is kind of annoying. Set champion. Okay. So the time time is ticking, to say the least. So, one, two. This is an artifact island, so they can sack this. I think we're just going to hold back because I think my opponent can hit me for if they don't sack anything, or if they sack the one, two, say they put the, uh, these two go onto the Ravager, then they've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But then they just move, even if I find a Wrath, they just move it over to here and they sack this with a Welding Jar. So I just Serum Vision to look for a threat of some sort. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. Nine. Nine puts me to sixteen. Nine puts me to seven. Then they go three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna serum visions and try to find like some sort of interaction. What do I have in the list here that deals with a situation like this? Kind of just chaining cryptics or Gideon Jura, I guess. Gideon Jura is probably where we want to be. Okay. So Gideon of the Trials into Path to Exile. I'm assuming Path to Exile is going to be fine. I don't think this is going to be fine. Let's put this on the bottom. Put this on top. Play this and pass. Because next turn I can like glimmer and path something. All right, that's pretty bad. I have to path this. Path one of the signal pests in combat. They sack it onto here. Two, four, six, nine. So I'm just like dead, even like without them even having to really go for it. Which is kind of sad. I have a nexus, so inside of combat. And then I need to go Glimmer of Genius into like Supreme Verdict. And Path to Exile. Put 
Someone's got to go for this, right? Yep, they got it. That was sad. We just kind of like died. Maybe I kept a sketchy keeper. So I'm going to go with this glimmer is not very good. This negate's probably not that great. Um, this might be a little slow. And I'm not in love with these. What I do want, I want this. I want this. I want this. The stony silences are slam dunks. And I wonder if these ruined halos are fine. I guess ruined halos are alright too, right? I guess the Blessed Alliance is kind of egregious. So I have to cut two more cards. Maybe they're just like cryptic commands. Oh, we don't want to get rid of that. I guess the Jace is okay. They don't have anything going on, but the searches might be slow. Maybe these are just too slow for the matchup. I think I either want to cut a search. I don't know if this Jace is like this Jace is alright if they're not doing anything. Because all their stuff is like base X1. So maybe it's worth a shot. You can see boarding it on the draw. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go like this. We'll jump back into it. I would like to play first. Is the music on here? And yeah, this hand's good. We have a settle and a verdict. This gets around um, everything, so we can keep this. We have Seer Visions on one. Hopefully we find a Stony Silence and we just have it all. Put a mulligan that kept a card on top. I guess we'll keep Detention Sphere. What does Detention Sphere hit? Detention Sphere just hits like cranial plating, which is kind of like the only thing that this hand's really soft to, I think. So I'll put this on top. Because like we're going to be able to deal with all their creatures. What cranial plating will do will just make any random creature good and annoying. play this out then probably cycle this irrigated farmland uh, this this deck seems it seems like it's got the tools to beat on affinity pretty hard I'll just cycle the farmland I would love to get into a position where my opponent ravagers onto a nexus and then I can just field to ruin it. All right, we don't need any more of those. Let's get a tapped hollow fountain with this. I don't want to pause in my end step, so maybe they've got like a galvanic blast they were thinking about just touching off.
All right, so detentions for that. Wow, we just have a little, so many answers. So I could see... I could just Field of Ruin. Yeah, I could just go Field of Ruin, hit like one of these Nexus, and then get a Plains and ru Ruined Halo like the Aether Grid. And then look to see if we can get one more creature off of this. I kind of like that. I like how this makes mana. Because like no matter what, this is going to become a threat eventually. Opponent probably animates. Sacks it to the Ravager. Okay, so it's G H I R A Giraper Ether Grid. This will also bite like fetch out a wear tear or something like that from our opponent if they have it. Okay, so now we'll just verdict everything away. Having the Snapcaster and Snap Serum Visions next turn. While my opponent can't move this Ravager at all. Next turn, Snap Serum Visions, and I can. Um, whatever it is. I can Detention Spear something if I need to. Now I think I definitely just sit behind this settle. So my opponents played their hand out. They're going to at least attack with these creatures. It's just going to suck if my opponent doesn't go for this because now I'm pretty much like priced into... Using this settle no matter what our opponent does. Because we don't have an instant. We don't have anything like juicy to flashback with Snapcaster Mage on our uh, main phase. Okay, so here comes the Vault Scourge. Animate. No, nope, they're holding back. Okay. I guess the settle doesn't even get this thing. But we have the Snapcaster Mage, so... Probably is this thing's just going to be annoying for like the rest of the game. My opponent boarded out the basic island. So 
So now I think I can go Snap Serum. Well, I really want to find some more gas. But I also don't want to take four from this. I could just go Snap Serum Visions and then hit this with a whatever it is. Or they're probably going to attack with all these next turn. I wish I had like an opt in my graveyard. I guess we could just go Snap Serum Visions. And then I get rid of this, take a shot. Then we can go Snapcaster, um, settle the wreckage. Stony Silence is pretty good as well. Let's put this on the bottom, put this on top. And I guess we'll just play Stony. Then I'll trade for this thing, take four. And then next turn, look to snap settle. This deck puts a lot of permanents into play. I guess we only take two of it, because two of this is poison. Oh. I do. This doesn't. Okay. All right. The opponent gets in there. And I go to four. Okay, we're going to have to smarten up here. Squad Chief, thank you very much. So regardless of what my opponent does here, I'm going to snap settle. Because they might not attack with this, but they'll probably for sure attack with these two things. That is a peculiar attack from our opponent. I mean, they could have drawn another Galvanic Blast, I guess. I do think I've played myself into a position here where I'm in a little bit of trouble. Now they shoot down my Snapcaster. Yeah, I definitely played myself into a into a rough situation here. Just been like a little bit inexperienced, not making very good plays. I guess I'll just go tap team draw. I should have like a Bane Slayer Angel to draw too. That would be sweet. I guess I should go like this. I'm going to be really frustrated if I did to just through this Steel Overseer. 
true spreading seeds. All right, that deals with this. So I think I'm just going to go to two off of this and then untap detention sphere it and hide behind crypto command. I just don't want to take any more data. I don't want like another thing to resolve. So let's go down to two. There's not much difference between two and four. That's just a one, one. I guess we can spell snare this. So spell snare is not getting you know much better than that. All right, that's nice too. So then we can save this detention sphere for a uh, for like a cranial plating. I guess we have to cryptic. We have to Spell snare one of those. That's a that's a problem. So now I guess I have to path this. Or I have to path this. So I go to tap everything down, draw a card, untap detention sphere path. This is summoning sick. Okay. I guess we just answer this. Okay, so I guess I get Ruined Halo, Galvanic Blast, Detention Sphere this, Path this, have Rejection for his next threat. I think that's what we're going to do. I need, I need a Gideon, like a, a five mana Gideon or Jace. I don't have a lot of ways to, I, I think I made a mistake sideboarding that I just don't have a lot of ways to win. Path that. All right, give me something. That's not exactly what I was looking for. So I got one more Snapcaster, I've got a Jace, and I've got a five mana Gideon. That's all right, so my opponent missed as well. We missed. Yeah, I think I definitely sideboarded poorly in the fact that I, I didn't leave myself enough ways to win.
saving this for a Blake Mod Nexus would be nice, but I want to get something going. Johnny would be proud. Yes, he would. So I might, what I might do is like at the end of turn, bounce this spreading season, draw a card. All right. Yeah. Now we're, now we're definitely going to bounce spreading season, draw a card. We'll deal with this. Okay. Yeah, so I Blair, I I give this deck a lot of crap. Like, but it, it knocked me out of the challenge or out of the PTQ last round, so uh, return target opponent return this. So I figured I would I would give it a give it a go. Then hit this with it. Then we'll figure out how to deal with this. Okay. Well, I guess first I'll see our visions. Okay, field of ruin opt. I guess we'll put both of these on the bottom. So I could just spreading seize this um, spire of industry because let me look up here. Look at this exclamation point card wear tear. It is white destroy target artifact. So I don't want them to like kill the ether grid then kill me. And I really just want to dig through my deck. Yeah, now we'll just pass. We found our stony silences. I'll probably feel to ruin this right now. Well, I don't really want to get feel to ruin and have them play like a blink moth, but. All right, that is a problem. So now I'll just feel to ruin this to, to thin my deck out. Because now I need a planes. What do I got? I've got a one detention sphere, a path, a Gideon Jora. A Jace Architect of Thought and a Supreme Verdict. So we have we have some outs and lots of redraws. Well, that counts as a redraw. We haven't drawn a colonnade this game yet. Okay, there's paths. So we're gonna keep playing magic. Play one more of these. We'll pass. God, winning this last game is going to be difficult. What are we looking for? Not that. Just pass. Yeah, I definitely didn't leave myself enough ways to win. Like we're 19 cards left in my deck. I 
I've got Gideon Jura. I've got Jace Architect of Thought, and that's like pretty much it at this point. Basically, I have Gideon Jura. And colonnades. We do have colonnades. All right, opponent gets in there with the thought seize. All right, that is bad as well. So I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna hit this spire of industry. I think to thin my deck out as well. So now I need a Gideon. We have plenty of redraws. That wasn't it. Yeah, I messed that game up. I just didn't I didn't leave myself enough win conditions. Like I thought to myself that little Gideon like would be bad because it doesn't protect itself very well. Oh, there's big Gideon right there. Yeah. That was my fault. Like I definitely think we have the tools to like to win that matchup. It's just like I misboarded and messed it all up. Why will this keep playing? We're just trying to get this, get the music going. Because it, go, it keeps going for like one, but then it stops. Yeah, that was definitely my fault. But what are you going to do? Live and you learn. I would like to play first. Yeah, we can keep this. Fetch an island on one. We have the J-Dog Millionaire. I guess we want both of these. Put on top, put on top. I'll probably play Colonnade next turn, then Spell Snare or something. And then I can play Gideon on three, then Spreading Seas turn after. Okay. Flame Blade Adept. Yeah, so we'll grab this Colonnade. This deck is pretty susceptible to like getting their mana base messed with. It's a burning inquiry. So that's like light adapt. Okay. So now I might just go like uh, spreading seas and then pa and then, uh, pass, just so that we can have both of our planeswalkers down or verdict and then go. Yeah, so let's hit this. Then we'll see what we're going to do with our land. I think we're going to play the Colonnade tapped. Yeah. Harass my opponent's mana bases a little bit. Okay. So we're going to get smacked around here. So there's six. My opponent's gonna kill me. Right, there's a hollowed one. All right, my opponent's gonna hit me for 14. 
Then we'll go to four. Then the Bloodgast. Bloodgast will get haste next turn. Wow. My opponent just killed me. Holy shnikes. They did 18 damage to me on turn two. Unreal. Hey Radio, how you doing? That was that was some that was some shit right there. I guess we'll go here. Here. Um The rest of these are like okay, but not great. Because like they, they just bring back Blood Gas from their graveyard, which is. I guess it also makes whatever Faithless Looting much worse. And it makes their Gurmag Anglers much worse. We definitely want that. Probably don't need Negate. We don't want to board out too many win conditions. This is a two color deck, so I'm going to assume that Spreading Seasons is great. We can probably shave one or two of those. Um. Might be a bit slow for search. I can bring in like Ruined Halo. But maybe this isn't the matchup for that. So I'm going to leave a search in. Uh, I guess search is better than spreading seas. Maybe bring in timely reinforcements. Just cut all the spreading seas. Yeah, I think we're going to go something like this. But then if we're bringing in Rest in Peace, should I cut some Snapcaster Mages? Because that's a Nambo. My Snapcaster Mages and my Torrential Gear Hulk just become beaters. And, but if I got if I get the Snapcaster Mages in play, like this recipe in play, I should be all set, I think. And they're gonna bring in Thought Seasons after sideboard, so they might take a rest in peace. So I just wanna keep if, if it all goes to hell, then I want my Snapcasters and my Torrential Gear Hulks in. And if I have the Snapcasters and the Torrential Gear Hulk, I'm pretty sure that I can win anyways. I would like to play first. And I'm all with no land heater. I will keep this. And we'll put a land on top. Yeah, how you doing? Uh, how you doing, Radial? Over there in the EU. Okay, so they probably take... Something out of here. Supreme Verdict, okay. We'll just play this and pass. It's pretty cool that these Field of Ruins color fix me. Like, these Field of Ruins are really good, I think. Oh, getting the cold? That sucks. Opponent draws a discard. Radio, did you just read sub? If you did, it's not showing up on the on the uh, Twitch alerts yet. Which is terrible. All right, well, wait. Well, hopefully this comes up. Enjoy your, enjoy your emotes, my friend. Emote. Want to burn inquiries? It's all right. My hands are actually not that great. Price friends don't auto reset. Well, no, I just saw you went from like if you look in the chat, you have the subscriber mode by you. Oh, we did start here, Hulk. That sucks. Oh, that's cool, Blair. So, I'm not doing anything with my mana this turn. I think we're just gonna. So my opponent's a very land light deck. So I think we're just going to go like this. Snap our opponent's land. Get a basic planes and see what happens.
You watched all of the uh, or a lot of the the weekend action, right? Radio, where we did okay in the the PTQ and we did pretty well in the challenge. Nasty Germasty. All right, well, we'll. Oh, damn it! I guess I'll. I could have gotten away with this. We would have been really on top of it. We would have hit this before combat. Not a lot, though. I meant to put it on YouTube, but I was just, like, focusing more than I normally do. So, I just didn't. So, I think we're going to let this thing hit us for a while. I don't really want to deal with this. I can deal with that though. And then we can start to like get a clock going. My post got angler though. Yeah, I mean I can just timely reinforcements if I need to. So I think we're just gonna hold back. Now I'm more now I think I'm gonna just snap path this thing. Because we can deal with this. Then I can untap and start cracking with colonnade. I'll try to block this flame bait adept too. It was a good, good weekend of magic. That resolves. And we'll wait, I guess, now that this is going to happen because we don't want our opponent to... Oh, God, blood gassed. I guess this thing's got menace. I guess we'll still flash this in. Get rid of the, this big ugly. Then we'll crack our opponent for six. This brings the blood gas back, so maybe this was poor. Yeah, this was definitely poor. I got 18th in the modern challenge, and I went six and three in the PTQ. F five and three or six and three, something like that. Yeah, I messed this up. Because then these come back. What's my play here? I think I'm just going to purge this. Like, this is aggressive, but I think I played myself into this line, like, where, you know, we're going we're gonna to start beating with colonnades. I still think I like firing this guy up right now. If we hit a land, we can then play Rest in Peace and play Colonnade next turn. Yeah, in the modern in the PTQ, I beat Lantern round one, lost to Storm, beat Blue White Spellcaller, beat Storm, lost to Abzan, beat Grishelbrand, La, uh, beat like the Rug Teamer, the Teamer Moon deck, and then I also beat um, what else did I beat? No, that must have been it. And then I lost to Blue White. And I give this deck a lot of flack, so I figured we would give it a whirl. Alright, opponent's gonna brutality. They nug my snapcaster and they duress me, it looks like. And the colonnade's still a two turn clock. There's a three turn clock now. We have another brutality. God, we're gonna get punished for not. Yes, I let John, Johnny got a pro point. Let me know. God, we just got like completely wrecked for not. Oh, uh, our decisions are just getting us. Just you, blue white control. Well, better lucky than good, I guess. So let's go Snapcaster Mage. Supreme Verdict. I 
But let's hope our opponent takes one turn off and we can land this rest in peace. Okay, that's not taking a turn off. But at least I can block that thing. Oh, now we're now we're in good shape. And then I'll just path this. Stay at a healthy life total. Or three is not that healthy against like fiery temper deck. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this. And then hopefully our opponent doesn't fiery temper me. All right, flame blade adapt. All right, we are gonna hope our opponent can't animate it or can't discard a card at least. Just went back to 2-3 Mardu. Yep. Oh, there's a the Halib one. Come on. Don't find another way to pump this. It's just two. Let's just play Grix's Shadow, man. You seem like you know what you're doing with it. It's a good deck. That opponent's got so many draws to just kill me. We want to play our lands out so that we can go, like, attack with Colonnade, block with Colonnade. My opponent's hands may be, like, a million Gurmag Anglers. All right, Street Wraith is good. So, blah, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we just got to wait now. Block with this Colonnade. I don't think my opponent, maybe these spells there should have gone out. My opponent doesn't have a lot of things that cost two in their deck. Opponent's just street wraithing for days. It's going to be difficult to kill these things. And we can't. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Marty was just high learning curve and got super lucky. Super unlucky. Well, my opponents, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna waste time here. Just play Jun Shadow, man. I need to plug my computer. Give me one second. Tossed the match here because I sideboarded wrong. I probably played too aggressive against this deck. Anyone wants a sub, by the way? Yeah, how does that work, Radio? You can gift subs? Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, that's frustrating. That doesn't show your resub in the stream thing there, Radio. Handing out subs to the Roam Squad right there. You can be you can be a part of the squad. Alright, this hand is good. Play this flooded strand. Alright, we're playing some Death Shadow. Do we get some... This is supposed to be a layup. At least it feels like a layup whenever I play this deck. Alright, I think I'm just going to get... 
a basic because this can filter us to where we gotta be, and there's just no need. I don't have most cards, John Shadow. You poor man. We'll keep that. Now I'm pretty nervous about like a Liliana here. I own I own the Jun Shadow cards, and I am uh, I'm sponsored by Card Hoarder Squad Chief, and they give me a they give me a budget of cards to rent. Well, I'll let this happen. Oh wow, there's this in their deck. If they land an angler, we'll just Gideon and tick up on it. Where's my opponent pausing on my upkeep? That's probably gonna be good later, so let's go white white. Dude, I love me some torrential gear hulk. Right, we'll plus on this. Oh, radial gifted. So radial sub, what a what a guy. Get the emotes going on there for this guy. So Radial's gift works, but his sub didn't work. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of annoying, but like, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's literally radio gifted this <laughs> Nice. Did you like for make Streamlabs mad or something? So I'm wondering if I just snap off this spreading seas on this black land. Took spreading seas. That's interesting. So my phone's probably just got like I played it in Jenny a couple times, F and M. The one of. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I love this card. Just like all I want to do with this card is eat a Reality Smasher and like flash. Like I put a Glimmer in my deck. So I'm gonna make the emblem. I don't think it's time to start beating in with this. So my opponent missed the land drop. They can't play their shadows. So I might as well just make an emblem. And then I can go Snapcaster Opt the end of the turn. I don't think it's Gideon Beats time yet. I like the card. It's just huge. Like, it's Smashcaster. And, like, the most powerful thing this deck does, is, in my opinion, is go, like, Snapcaster Cryptic Command. And this is, like, sort of that. But, I mean, the good thing it does is this also, like, flashes back Opt on turn four. All right, opponent just was like, we're good. So it's definitely a Death Shadow deck. So I think against the Death Shadow decks, we want, we want these, we want these. This is probably, this is like medium, and this is good. We probably just wanna like cut out some of our shenanigans, get a little leaner, like this card. Though our opponent showed us white, so I'm assuming that's pretty good. We'll get rid of this. I'll leave the negating because my opponent's probably got like probably got cards like um gosh, whatever it is. Liliana for sideboard. These spell snares probably aren't great. They do hit Snapcaster Mage, but I think that's it. I can see slimming down on like some of this top end but I really I just you know like I'm gonna leave this in my deck even if it's wrong I can board out probably I mean Johnny always says if you're bringing in rest in peace you board out snapcaster mages which like makes sense but I, I, I want I want my snapcasters I'm leaving this in because like you can just flash this in and kill somebody I think Maybe the Settle the Wreckage is also good. Maybe like bring this Settle in. 
cut like now the games are gonna go the games are gonna go long. I don't know. I don't really know. Oh, I want the purge too. Yeah, so we'll cut this. We do want the purge. We probably want this settle. And I don't know, we'll cut like an opt, I guess. This is pretty pretty shady sideboarding, but like I said, we don't really know what's going on. I could be overboarding. I don't really know. Like this might be this is probably too this is probably egregious. The rune halos are good. I like just like making my deck a little leaner with like I guess the dispels are probably not super great. Like I just like make my deck leaner and not bring those in. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. I don't want to discard against the mulligan against the death shadow deck. Yeah, I definitely could have probably left out like a couple cards. Like the dispels only hit like their counter spells and their thought scours and their ops. If my opponent led, was like red and was playing Grixis, had K commands, I'd be more more excited about it. I think my opponent's probably got a mana heavy hand. That's what their first, their, at least their Street Wraith actions over here tell me. Because most of the time, if you fetch first, that means you have enough lands. If you need lands, that means you cycle first. It is a marginal play, but it's just good sequencing. God, I'm so sad that your subscription didn't come through. Radio. Oh, it's like tanking on this. They're going top, top. That's weird. Okay. It's gonna... That's gonna f get us going a little bit. What is this? So I just drew the card they left on top. Maybe I'm just gonna spreading seize this white land if my opponent gives me the option. Then just went bottom bottom. So I'd rather run this spreading season to a stub than Gideon. And we'll just hide this land here. So let's go here. I guess I could have played held up negate. Should have held up negate because. A Liliana the Veil next turn really sucks. Yeah, the Liliana is definitely not good. Yeah, I know, but like I want people to be want sweet things to happen. When you subscribe to this channel. I want it to, I want it to come up. Some goddamn Streamlabs. I mean, they're lying, cheating ways. All right. Oh, baby. Is an angler? I might like field of ruin this into uh, serum visions because I do think that we need to find. We need to find a Wrath. Because I think that my opponent's telegraphing. They're not really telegraphing anything. We're going to just take eight. 
I do kind of like Field of Ruin into... Because what can my opponent resolve? The only card that would be really bad would be Liliana Veil. Vale, because, like, anything else gets answered, answered with a... Uh, a Supreme Verdict, which is what we're digging for anyways. So yeah, I guess we'll just go... Harass my opponent's mana base. Ooh. I think I actually have to get... That was... Oh, that was bad. Because of how my mana base is set up? Oh, yeah. That was not good. Because now it's like I have to get a white source to have it be untapped next turn. Yeah, that was that was poor. So is it worth getting a white source? Or being able to use Serum Visions this turn? Serum Visions... I think Seer Visions, because I can find Path to Exile. I'm going to have the basic. That's a weird basic for them to have. This gets stubbed. Yeah, we played ourselves into this. For sure. I'm just going to let that go. I'm going to let it go. Okay, so there's the path. So I can go... I might as well put this... So I don't think I want the planes. I do think I want the spreading seas because I want to like path something, hold up negate, and then if they don't have it, then the like, spreading seas one of their lands. So I don't think I want this, but I do think I want this. And then we can play a tap land. Just hope our opponent doesn't get us with a discard spell. No, so I'm saying, like, path on the main phase, if that resolve, like, and then have negate back up for the path, and then if that resolves, ooh, see, that's that was the card we were worried about. So, like, uh, we can ditch plenty of lands here. I guess we want to ditch this colonnade. I'm saying, like, path, hold negate up to fight over it, and then if it resolves, untap and... Uh, if it resolves, I mean, don't untap, just main phase spreading seas. So let's get rid of this. Yeah, see that? Now, th this is what I was talking about. And, like, had I not been able to use this negate, I probably would have spreading seas, like, this planes. Cut them off white sources. And then we'll get this down. And then play Gideon next turn, hopefully. I'm going to discard the island if my opponent ticks up. Because I think the random draw of Spreading Seas is worth more than the island, even though you have to... Oh, Jesus. That's bad. Yeah, discard farmland makes sense. Because we might need the untapped land next turn. Because that, then that leaves... Uh, what's his name and out? The Gideon. The five-mana Gideon. Yep, that was right. 
So now the opponent flashes back Thought Scour. So I need Path to Exile, Wrath, or Big Daddy Gideon. Ooh. Ooh. That is how we drew it up. Better lucky than good. Cannot path and get in the same term. You are right there. You are right there, sir. So now we'll get rid of the spreading seas. Hopefully our opponent has like a lingering souls. Or thought seas. This is where it's so disheartening. This is weird they have three basics. This is where it's so disheartening being the Death Shadow player whenever this happens. Because... You do so much work in the early game. Oh, they milled the Lingering Souls? Alright. Tasker. Tasker's good. You just put in so much effort to, like, get ahead of them, and then they just, like, wrath your board. Well, they're not... I guess they're just going to sit on Tasker. I guess that plays around wrath better. So, what are they going to do? If I play Gideon, and bubble the Tassiger, um, do they just minus their Liliana? And then I can Verdict? Because if, if I don't play Gideon, then I'm going to lose the Gideon to the plus. But if I have the Gideon down... My opponent might verdict, or might like eat, or set up a, a Liliana minus that makes it so like I have to choose between the Gideon and my lands, and then the verdict's gonna be better. Yeah, I want to play Gideon. Gideon threatens to take the game over, so my opponent might just like minus to get rid of it. Go like. Lands versus spells, and then flashback lingering souls. That plays very poorly against Verdict, but. And then we'll. Bubble this guy. And if my opponent does go up. I guess they, they go up and. Cast I don't know. So I kinda wanna just give them this Inquisition. The problem is how do I get them what do I do to get them to keep this Gideon around? Like, what does Thought Scour do? Thought Scour is a redraw. Inquisition's dead. I'm just wondering, like, I think, like, the obvious play is to give them back Inquisition. But then that gives them the information that, like, I actually do need to go up with my Liliana instead of, like, edicting and then trying to get rid of this Gideon. So, like, I'm wondering if it's worth, like, what's worth more? Was it more worth trying to, like, maneuver my opponent into a situation where they like get rid of this in order to get rid of this like to fight on this axis and like w will they do that is like the tension of the game I think you like giving them lingering souls You like giving them lingering souls. The thing with lingering souls, lingering souls incentivizes them to go up with their Liliana instead of just minusing it. 
And I, I almost want them to minus it and then flash their lingering souls back. And I just, I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to, because that, that's the play that I want. I want them to go minus their Liliana, put lands versus, put like something like lands Gideon versus, um, like white source Gideon versus the other stuff, and then have them flash back like a lingering soldier or something like that. Hopefully, to play around. I don't know. Maybe I don't. I, don't, I guess they wouldn't flash back lingering souls because the tasker's lethal on its own. So I'm just like talking myself around circles here. I think it's like my first. My first gut instinct was like thought scour. Which is what I think I'm going to do. Baby Jace is interesting. Baby Jace is alright because there's not a lot of good cards my, opponent's hit. my opponent has. My opponent just went I in chat. I don't know what that means, opponent. It's an interesting, like, thought. Okay. Okay, so what do I take? If my out is this card... So my opponent's got, did my opponent cast Thought Scour? Choose a Thought Scour, return it, cast Thought Scour. So it's Tasker and Gideon versus two randos. Or it's Gideon, Supreme, well the Supreme Verdict's dead. It's not doing anything. Is the accumulation of cards from Tasker gonna win the game anyways? Because what I'm worried about is if I take this pile, does the Tasker just beat me? Because, like, they're going to flash Lingering Souls back anyways. So, it's not like the Tasker does very much. Or, no, it's, it's not like the Gideon does a lot. Like, if I keep Gideon, they just flash back Lingering Souls. If I don't keep Gideon, then, you know, like, it's just tough either way. And I think the Verdict's the way that I win. I think the top card. I think I like. I think I win with verdict because like this lingering souls beats this, and like my opponent can just sit behind Tasker if they want to, and they just just accumulate. I guess shitty cards, but they can accumulate cards. I don't know. I think it's a tough spot either way, and I can see this not being right. But I think this loses on the board. As the board sits right now, this loses on two turns. And as the board sits right now, if I draw what I need, then I've got a fighting chance, I think. So. Gideon versus Taz and Souls gives us three draws. Okay, so something that's relevant, one of those draws has to be a white source. They can be runner, runner, white source, and we're in good shape while my opponent accumulates card advantage. Or they can be white source path. I think we're going to go like this. I think this gives me a better shot to win the game.
Yeah, two white sources or white source path to deal with Tasker and then fight through the Lingering Souls afterwards. Alright, man, opponents can't give me a chance. One time. And it's like, I can sit here and be like, oh my god, results-oriented magic, you know? But like, I think that it was the best play to give me the chance. And we'll just give him back Thoughtseize. Results oriented magic. <laughs> okay. I've always got 19 cards left in their deck. We probably should have these popped out. This is another Delve card. This is another Delve card that I don't deserve to have a chance against. Let's just. We're bored. If I draw a dispel, I'm gonna like rage. It would be justice if I draw if I drew a dispel though. Nasty Germasty. Opponent over taps. <laughs> Alright, we deserve that. We deserve that for sure. We deserve that. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's justice. All right. Rest in peace, Rune Halo. Rune Halo, I'm less excited about because of Lingering Souls. It's not going to just shut off like half of his threats. So let's get rid of this. That is poetic justice. I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep these in here. Like if I draw rest in peace, I draw rest in peace. It's gonna do so much work against the rest of his deck that like Yeah, I think I should just keep the rest in pieces and the snapcasters in because like if I draw it, it's gonna shut his deck off. And if I don't draw it, then I want the actual good cards in my deck, not the dispels. And Gearhulk can just eat, yeah. Like, if we get these in play, I can I can fuck around and draw Snapcaster Mages and Torrential Gearhulks for a while and still be okay. Yeah, sometimes you just be like, you know, here comes a moron. Yep. So then maybe I want to bring in, like, one more opt or something like that in order to, like, have something to... If I'm going to bring these Snapcasters back in, then maybe cut, like, a cute card that isn't Glimmer of Genius because that's so cute it's got to be in. Yeah. I guess is the plan. Yeah, so yeah, the list that I the list that I found played uh, Gear Hulk and uh, Gear Hulk and Glimmer. Well, actually, no, I changed those. It didn't have the Rev, and I just wanted to play with Gear Hulk now. When I think about it. All right, this hand's good. Hopefully, we can land this search for Ezkanta because this is going to do some serious. I, I, I'm, I'm like in love with this card. I played one league of blue white approach and just like thought the whole rest of the deck sucked, but this was awesome. And I love this card. It's a very good hand.
Don't talk to me. Just be a serum visions. Come on. No. No. My opponent has to take the surge. I can't really complain about like one time anymore after the shenanigans that I pulled with that untapped land. I guess maybe maybe I'm even after drawing like the worst card in my deck that I said I was gonna draw. Okay. But then I'm like negative even because I put them in my deck. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, that would be a good idea. That would be a good idea. I can get down with that. We might even hit a tap land. Now, what do we do? We board out our spell centers. Yeah, but I guess we can just do this to get a little more energy. Or get, a, not energy, get an idea of what's going on. Um, I really don't want to. But then there's no way I'm going to get to verdict this thing. So this feels bad, but we're just going to, we're just going to get rid of it. Like I could wait. For my opponent's untap step to do that or something like that, their upkeep. But I don't want them to go like cantrip into flip Jace. I guess we can cast this. Because, like, the only thing that I would want to Celestial Purge is a Liliana. And we can, like, discard one of these two, I think. So I think it's better to just sculpt our game plan a little bit. So I want both of those. And I think we're going to go... Maybe I don't want the path. I don't think I want the path. Put this on top. And play the colonnade. If our opponent gets the linger in, that could be kind of annoying. The question is, do we wait to play Gideon to play around? Um, well, now we're going to just find out if they have a stubborn denial. I'm going to give my opponent the opportunity to stub this. I could untap and purge it, but I think that purge has got like Liliana written on it. And I want to like clean up, I want to mop up um, whatever it is for this guy. I want to mop up Lingering Souls tokens with Supreme Verdict. Okay, so here it is. Another Thought Scour. They hit a Lingering Souls. There's an odd time to Thought Scour, in my opinion. Why would you Thought Scour there? Unless they just think that I'm going to, like, respect Stubborn Denial, which, like, they think we're going to make good plays, you know? This guy, this guy is in the wrong stream for that business. I guess we'll just make the emblem. Oh, no. Wrong one. All right, it doesn't really matter. Wrong zero. Why does a planeswalker have same abilities? You know, I can't handle that shit. Oh my gosh, it's been a rough day of work. <clears throat> We're giving our opponent a chance.
and the ref. <laughs> All right, Tasker's gonna be annoying. Tasker would be less annoying if I play a land last turn. God, I'm gonna top deck an untapped land and just not be punished. We're gonna get Snapcaster Thoughtseize and like don't want to play this game anymore. God, I hope you all are ready for the no justice untap supreme untap land supreme verdict here. All right, well that was that was pretty close. All right, prevent area damage from this thing. You couldn't take that much, that much flack. I wouldn't be able to handle it. <laughs> I think we're gonna wait on this purge here also. These control decks, something that is sweet about these control decks is they do promote interesting gameplay. Like, I've played, I don't know, a league and a half of control decks in modern so far, and I have had a good time playing them. Thanks, Holy Diva. I appreciate that. Yeah, my opponent fears, fears the Gideon. This is a primarily a channel where... We rage or we play bad enough where our and we then we beat our opponents and they rage. Oh god, just show me just like one time play a Gurmag Angler and not a Thought Seize. Okay. Well, we had ourselves a nice little twitch alert there. Holy Diva with the follow. Thank you very much. Oh, man. God, is my opponent going to actually thought seize me and take away this Supreme Verdict? God, our opponent's making, like, too good of plays. We're going to give them the opportunity to take Celestial Purge. Oh, 100%. This is justice. So I think I'm going to hit this Tassiger on my end step with this Purge. And then if my opponent's got, like, stub here, then it's going to give me a better chance to... Or if they stub this, then the Cryptic's got a better chance of resolving. Okay. So... What do we do? So I just take up on this Snapcaster Mage and then just chill out? Sit on this Cryptic Command? I think that's what we do. Just swing with Gideon. <laughs> I could do that. So let's think. You're talking like swing with Gideon up to... Up to oh Jesus Christ. Un, un, upkeep... Tap these things down and draw a card. I mean, yeah. We play way too much Death Shadow to not play that, to not take that line.
And I'm going to assume if my opponent let that, um, let that whatever survive, or let that, let this, let me untap with this thing, then I'm going to, uh, or let, let that purge resolve, then I assume that they're going to, uh, what was I going to say? I assume this cryptic command is going to resolve. I can't speak. They let it happen. Well, they let, they had that there. Uh, what good? What I what? While well, I respect that play, they killed get on the crackback. So maybe I should have main phased. Like maybe I should have main phased. Um, detention sphere this and then ticked up or then attacked. So I think I'm actually going to Detention Sphere these Lingering Soul Spirits, so that if I draw an untapped land, I can just, like, Kapow. Right? I mean, that doesn't seem... That doesn't necessarily seem crazy to me to do. Makes my opponent draw, like, either another set of Lingering Souls, which is probably going to beat me anyways, unless I draw a Wrath. Or, um... Or they have to have, like, Fatal Push, which they probably don't have any Fatal Push in their deck. Yeah. Looks like opponent is getting their Delve on. They're doing a whole lot of things that are not going to matter if we draw an untapped land. That's what it, that's what it seems like. I can't wait for my opponent to play Tassiger and then to activate it and me give them an Inquisition to Kozlect. I went five and three or six. I went X three and the P I got it up here. I beat Lantern, Storm, lost the Storm round two, beat Blue Eye Red Queller, beat Storm, lost a tight one to Abzan. That was just like, oh my God. That's If they hadn't had the Siege Rhino, I think I could have won that game. Then beat Grishel Brand. Okay, so my opponent has a strategic delve. I'll probably just give them this collective brutality because it doesn't matter if I draw an untapped land. We're on the whole untap draw an untapped land plan. I lost to this deck here. So I, I have like given blue white control a lot of flack in like my my modern days. So I decided the deck beat me. I'll eat my words a little bit. We'll give it a play and we'll see what we think. God, welcome to the No Justice stream. Yes! All right. Throw the deck up here. Everybody, 14 viewers, I appreciate everyone that is hanging out tonight, having a good time. Hanging out. I uh, appreciate you all. If all of you guys like what you see, Gideon Swing is the best plan. That's just what, it, like, our Gideon only has, like, one mode, and it's zero, and then get in there. Um, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. Uh, all my streams, for majority of them, I was in the zone a lot this weekend, so I forgot to hit the record button. I didn't record the challenge or the uh, PPTQ that I was in, so that kind of feels bad. But he's an aggro doll. In only that mode when he had yeah. Um, so like you can always find the archives of my stream on YouTube and um, check it out there if you guys missed anything. So if you guys need any. We are we are eating our words tonight, Farby. That's what we're doing. God, this hand is just absolutely atrocious. But 
I didn't believe it. God, I just hope my opponent plays an Earth. It is kind of sweet to be able to register, to enter a modern tournament and be like, I hope my opponent plays an Urza land. Like, I don't think I've ever said that. God, we gotta play Affinity again. Now I'm just gonna, like, make mistakes and lose. Oh, no, 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 I could spell snare that. That thing doesn't, that thing, they always play it for one, but it costs two. <sighs> oh, gosh, that's great. Um... Does that only play one hollowed fountain? Huh. That's not the two things. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alright. We're gonna cycle our spreading seas. Oh uh, yeah, we could do that, I guess. I have one shock land in my deck to fetch with. So we're going to play real two drops. Yeah, that, that might have been good as well. So do we seize next turn or do we play Gideon? Look at this. See, they didn't play any real two drops. What are you what are you talking about? Um, now we're going to play Gideon. And we're going to look to get this thing out of Galvanic Blast range as soon as possible. We don't need another one of those. So do I just... I almost want to feel to ruin my opponent to, like, color fix myself. But that seems pretty weak. So I guess we'll just pass here. Because I can just feel to ruin them, and, like, I still have Spell Snare. Oh, no, we should do something with Gideon. Let's go plus on this. To get us out of Gal Black range. Go to the top. I wanted, I wanted lands. Like, I don't want... I would rather hit a land drop than hit any spell, right? When I opted, I... Right there, like... I don't want to play a deck where I can't have six. You're just losing... You're losing value doing that. So we want to get rid of these. Um, we want stony silences... And settle the wreckage. Then now we need to leave in some win conditions. So this is probably shenanigans. This is shenanigans. Maybe these cryptic commands are also shenanigans. If we're gonna cut the cryptic commands, I probably should just cut the torrential gear hulk, right? Because, like, the Gear Hulk's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven targets. Eight. I guess we're going to bring this in, and, like, each of these are fine. Like, let's be real. If I get to Torrential Gear Hulk and I haven't had a basic to flash, something to flash back, that means I've either drawn all of my Supreme Verdicts and my stony silences. So I think we're just going to go like this. We're going to leave win conditions in our deck. That's why we lost to Affinity earlier.
How's it going, Nilla? Ugh. Hey, man. Opt matters. All instants matter. All right. I'm so I'm so frustrated that good guy radio radio it's radio 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 seven and his sub never went through but he gifts a sub and it's good we'll keep this we have spell snare on the draw which is basically a combo bring like and sideboard nice spring leaf drum. All right, let's get this colonnade and play tat. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. The telegraphing a little bit, but do not play colonnade. <laughs> Maybe. All right, Pona gets in here. So what does my opponent have? Maybe they have two draws, but they understand what basic island means. So I guess we can play Flooded Strand now, and I guess we can path this Signal Pest. Like, if we path this Signal Pest, our opponent's just not really doing anything. Because it appears they probably have a bunch of etch champions in their hand. Well, then they would have cast them last turn. I don't know what's in my opponent's hand. Pest is annoying, though. Like, if I path this pest, it represent I only take two damage. And I lose to only take two infect. Yeah, but I've got spell snare for that, right? And then I'll have snap, snap spell snare next turn. I'm going to path this pest. We're getting, we're getting this we're getting this guy out of here. Uh, Nilla, how did uh, how did Micah's um, how the rest of Micah's stream go? What? What is this? What? I'm so confused. This is the greatest path to exile of all. This path saved me four points of damage. I don't think anything happened. I'm really confused what just happened there. Okay, he pumped Igmoth. That makes sense. So, do we just go Field of Ruin? Yeah, we can go Field of Ruin. And we can Field of Ruin, Color Fix, and... Dude, this Field of Ruin is sick. We can go Field of Ruin, Hold Snare, which is basically the same thing. Resolves. I guess we'll just take this on the chin. I 
do want to just use this field of ruin so that I can go like. Oh, what is this? All right, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna execute the play. Cause now we can snap snare next turn. All right, we'll pass. What if I'm just, like, using all of these spell snares just to, like, just to get you, you know? Like, if I understand what I'm doing, I just see, like, the agony that it causes you with these spell snares, and it's just worth it. Chat activist is tilted. What am I doing here? Should I flash Snapcaster Mage in and target spell snare? I don't think that's worth it. My spell snare. The champion. He's doing none. None of the things that come out of your mouth. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna take one. And then we're gonna spreading seas. The heck out of this Blink Moth Nexus. So we'll start here. And we're 90% we're playing a tap land. But. Ooh. That's Big Papa Jura. Ooh. You know what's a combo? Gideon Jura and Torrential Gear Hulk because they have to attack my Gideon and I get to smack them with a uh, with a Gear Hulk while that happens. So it's kind of like Gideon Jura plus big things is a combo. Should just minus two on the such champion. Jokes. Jokes. Get this guy down. I think the affinity player plays too many lands. One, two, three, four, five, six. So might as well just go, hang on. So if I go zero, attack my opponent for five, they probably attack this, and then I just, yeah, so we're just going to slap our opponent with this Gideon. What's the first rule about Gideon, Grant? We smack with Gideon. Gideon can only zero. Tech the old privilege, especially on the turn you play him. So I can Torrential Gear Hulk Spell Snare that. That is a combo. Unfortunately, we don't get to then... Do we get to kill our opponent next turn? 
Opponent blocks this. They go now. We don't get to kill him. Yo, is this a is this a target? Is this a, is this <laughs> is this a target that you were talking about, Grant? Uh, okay. Snare this thing. Is this one of those things that you spoke of? Just attack with your ex champion. Yeah. The value. Opponent has conceded the game. All right. Opponent is allowed to do that. All right. Let me get some water while we while we go for the three two. Three two. You guys know what would be a three two? What three two would mean? That means that we cashed a league with the worst deck I've ever played. I'm just kidding. I played worse decks than this. But three two would be a God, I can't wait for my pity chest. Oh, my opponent's zero, 0 That means my opponent could be good. He might beat me up here. Gas. I think I literally, I think I just despise any deck where I have to keep this. You know, like if this is considered like a good hand, then I just absolutely, this deck makes me want to puke. We're playing against Infect, I think. This, I think we're playing against Infect. We're either playing against Infect or Five Color Death Shadow, I think. Maybe like a Bant, it's Infect or Five Color Death Shadow. So. My opponent wants to stub this, they can. Okay, so we are playing against 5-color Death Shadow. All right, we can see our visions. All right, we don't need another land right now. So we'll put this on the bottom. We'll put our Tribal Gideon deck on top. We'll play this guy. I think I would I think we're playing the 5 color one. This guy was totally watching my stream this weekend. Wow, oh, this deck is great. I was like, wow, this guy is great. This streamer is great. He's good looking. Like, I just want to be like this guy. Whoa. Whoa. This is a little different. God, I'm just going to jam this Gideon. If my opponent has a stubborn denial, like, 
they put a card on top. The fact that they put a card on top makes me feel nervous, but like, I really just want to jam this Gideon in the trials. So my opponent could have been playing this to get in Death but then they would have played a Death Shadow if they'd have had it. How greedy are we? Play Gideon, make a 4-4. Alright, sounds like a plan. Oh, baby. No. I hovered over it for a second there. I was almost like... 4-4, the 4-4 almost happened. This is poetic justice. I can't wait to feel it a ruin that breeding pool. Just right in my opponent's draw step. <clears throat> a lot of time ago. So do I want to Snapcaster Serum Visions? Or do I want to feel to ruin that green source? We got we got Dose Margarita as the D Spears. I think I'm gonna fetch a tap land. Well. Cause I don't want to get stubbed. But like I don't think my opponent I think we've already determined our opponent does not have a stubborn denial. But I guess I could just get a basic and then like we don't need to get our tap land. You always fetch before your serum visions. Then we plus on one of these. Do we want Spell Snare? Because our opponent probably only has two Tarmogoyce left in their deck. So I don't think Spell Snare is actually that good against them at this junction in the game. So I think we just bottom both of these. Well, that was fatal. Sam doesn't have 12 targets. <laughs> Get rid of it. How unfortunate it would be if our opponent found like a Mishra's Bobble right here. My opponent finds, like, how weird is that? Best draw on your deck, Mishra's Bobble. Appears I didn't draw Mishra's Bobble. Ooh. Again, we I think we're on the whole line. My opponent doesn't have... But now they could have Snap Stub. Nah, we don't, we don't come on this stream to... To not play our Gideons. Oh, they had it. They had the snap stub. Now we're now we're in trouble. Liliana too, okay. Um, we can get rid of this Mystic Gate. I guess we probably should get rid of the Field of Ruin. It's not like we're actually going to Field of Ruin our opponent this game. So I'm going to get smacked for five. Lose my Gideon. So what do we do here? We go upkeep.
All right, spreading seeds doesn't do anything. All right. So what do we got? We have looks at like Snapcaster would be good. That's not good. So one, two, three, four. So should we fetch? Because are we just dead? We're not like just dead if we don't hit this. We can jump with Colony, which gives us another shot. And we can keep this in play for this. Like if we hit, if we hit a good one, we can like play one more time. Not one more time. I was gonna say. So hang on, what actually, actually, because we have this fetch land. So because of this fetch land, my opponent, we block one of the death, one of the Tarmogoyfs. We go to a mill, and we don't, no, yeah, it's not good. We probably got to fetch. We only have one draw step, because it's four block, take 11. So yeah, we're fetching. One, two, three, four, five, six. So snap, verdict does it for us. Detention Sphere does it for us. Another Cryptic does it. We can do all that off this mana. So let's get this one to play tapped. No. Stupid Field Rune. Opponent is swinging with a 4-4 four, four Death Shadow. What do you mean we can't win? I'm confused. Alright, the All-Star, rest in peace. We are not over sideboard. Bring in the Purge. Yeah, even with the blocker, it's lethal, yeah. I thought I did that math out when I was speaking. Timely's probably okay. It's kind of good at pressuring Liliana. It could be egregious. I just never know what to board. I never know what to board out. So Smell Snare literally hits only Tarmogoyf. <clears throat> oh yeah, Blessed Alliance is great because you make them gain life. If this only hits Tarmogoyf. It might like I'm more I'm more I'm more inclined to want this on the draw. I think this might be too cute. Let's get rid of these. And now let's cut two cards. Yeah, I'll bring it back in on the draw, especially if I see Collective Brutality, but just snaring a Tarmogoyf from the draw is a big game. I literally, I don't know if Settle's good, like, then I start getting like a million fours. I'm going to guess this Jace is weak, because I didn't see any white. My opponent's got Lingering Souls, I'll bring the Jace back in. Detention Sphere is like okay, but they also have whatever that dumb card is. They've got Abrupt Decay. They're probably bringing a Maelstrom Pulse. Search for Ascanta might not be that great. Search could be too slow. Cut of Visions and Cut of Seas. I'm gonna cut this glimmer and I'm gonna cut a search. I don't think we're. I don't want to cut. I guess it's a, maybe a little better. The spreading seasons are against the five color or against like a Sultai one. But I I think that the best way to attack Death Shadow is on their is on their mana base. Heater. Get our tap land on one.
opponent takes spreading seas or supreme verdicts. Probably spreading seas. If I were them, I would take spreading seas. And I don't know the contents of their hand, but spreading seas. The games where I beat blue white, they don't resolve spreading seas. All right. Huh. What do we got? We got ourselves a Garma toy coming in here. So my opponent's, how big is my opponent's score? If it's a 4-5, so we kind of like got to hit it now on my main phase. I'd like to draw a step bit. It's going to be that Shadow. 33 viewers, I hope everyone's having a good time. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. I usually stream every Wednesday and Sunday. But my wife's out of town this uh, this week, so I'm gonna be I'm streaming. Uh, this is my what fifth day in a row. I did Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yep. So I'll be streaming all the way up until Thursday night. Then I'm gonna take off for the holidays. Then we'll be back afterwards. Okay. So I think I'm just gonna draw step, smack this um this watery grave. Yeah, that's that's the plan. So we'll be back here tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to play tomorrow. <clears throat> I've been kind of itching to play um, what do we get? Oh, I guess I'll get planes. Um, I've been itching to play lands and legacy. Um, I kind of want to play Stulti Energy and Standard, but Standard's kind of boring. Um, I wouldn't mind playing like a blue red Blood Moon deck either with um, whatever it's called. Either with Snapcaster May, either the Kiki Jiki one or the Through the Breach one. I'm thinking about playing Burn, but I also might want to play some more Gorios Vengeance decks. I, I enjoyed playing Gorios. Paradoxal Outcome Storm Slivers. Playing Slivers Grant seems like the best way for me to like. Light 12 tickets on fire. You know, and I'm not sure I want to light 12 tickets on fire. All right, well, I don't really know what this game plan is. Nile Spellbomb. Tarmal Life. Okay. So, I kind of want to path this Tarmogoyf and Field of Ruin their green source. Or I could just Verdict. Then I save my Verdict, because he knows I have the, they know I have the Verdict, so I think there's something else going on. And this lets me double spell, and I don't think this Gideon's going to resolve next turn. My opponent hasn't shown me a stub yet. I'll Skype you and help. You probably have to pay for the league and then pay another twelve dollars in order to do in order to deal with that grant. It's like the skyping would have would, would would cost you extra. So can I pass and do this? Humans is a bit outside of my price range that I'm allowed to borrow for. I think I'm just gonna pass this on the main phase and then feel to ruin this green source. I guess I should do this right now so my opponent can't, like... What are they going to use this in their draw step for, though? Nothing, really? Uh, 
whatever. I guess we'll just do this right. We'll do this like maybe my opponent's doing something weird. All right, we could get trick binded. Um, I guess we'll just get another white source. Click, sure. Okay. All right. We're just going to be pit. We're not going to walk into four spike. Real answers. <laughs> The hard hitting questions. I'm just gonna have six. There's nothing we can do. How sad would it be if our opponent found a black source and then thought sees the way this Gideon? Guys, is this what it feels like just putting the absolute thumb screws to a Death Shadow player? I just heard about my Christmas bonus grant, so I, I am in a good mood. If you if you Facebook me a halfway decent, um, a halfway decent slivers deck, I will I will think about it. So I think we want to get rid of some of these cryptics. Our opponent showed us collective brutality, so I think I think we want to get a couple of these. Um. I hope the entire chat heard that I guarantee nothing. I kind of want the snares and the draw. I need to cut a card too. The cryptic commands just don't feel like they matter. Like it doesn't feel like that's the access to the game where I want to be playing. Yeah, dude. Tip while playing against decks. While playing against decks with thought season them. Do not mulligan if your hand functions. We basically have three spells. I don't really know. Like, I think that's like for Valakut. What is this? All right, we're going to put a Suspicious Island up. I'm probably going to cycle this Irrigated Farmland if we're speaking in full truths. Who are they targeting? They targeted themselves. They got, they got themselves a fetch land. I think Settle the Wreckage is for, like, Creature Decks and Dredge. Like... You know, I'm no I'm no professional, but that's that's what I think. What do we got coming in here? Oh. Do I need a spell snare this? Fuck yeah I am. Get that weak shit out of here. Opponent delirium unlock. Spell Snare and On the Draw. is You know what's a combo deck? Being On the Draw with Spell Snare. You know who should splash blue for Spell Snare? That, that dumb deck that ate rack. All right. We will not cycle in response. Eight rack should just play, should just be blue, black, eight rack.
So this feels like a death shadow. Yeah. With stubborn denial. So again, I think I'm just going to Field of Ruin my opponent's green source and then Serum Visions. This is so sick how this makes mana. Like this Field of Ruin is just so sick. Get my island. Opponent probably gets... Okay, we'll pass the turn. Or we'll pass, we'll move main phases. They're still going to get to uh, stub us either way, but if they want to stub this, they can. Alright, um, Spreading Seas is not great. Though we can try to choke them on black mana. What does that do? Choking them on double black. I can limit them to one black spell a turn. Then the Spurge. The Spurge Seeds is like, worse than the worst, it's just two mana cycle that like messes with my opponent a little bit. So I think, I think both these cards are just fine. So we'll put, we'll put this on top, we'll put this on top of it. cool thing about whatever it is um that uh oh we can get that a cool thing about um i can't even think a uh this is liliana it's gonna be kind of annoying a cool thing about spreading seas is that like it's never really that bad. Like, it has such a very low floor. That is a scary Liliana. God, he hit a, they hit a Tarmogoyf, too. So, I get the Goyf back. So, I'm actually just going to detention... No, I'm not even going to detention sphere this thing. Wow, magic, magic's about to get hard. Wow, this thing's annoying. I guess I just spreading seize their green source so they can't even play their time of And then they kind of like have to stub this and then I can, whatever, purge this off of, well. It'd be sick if this resolved. But I'm pretty sure it's not going to. No. It's alright. I guess we'll just fight through. Like, we'll get rid of this Liliana with it ticking down to get a creature. So my opponent plays Tarmogoyf. We Supreme Verdict. So they have Let me look at this. does nothing. So I have to, I think I have to verdict. Because then I can just go like purge sphere. And if I don't verdict, there's like a very legitimate chance I just die next turn. 
Yo, where's the sliver that finds all the other slivers? Is that like homing sliver? God, you only play one of those in the sideboard? That's like the whole reason I want to play the deck. Okay, here's, here's Time of Life. Yeah, you got points there. All right, just take it down. All right. So I guess we start by trying to hit this Tarmogoyf with a Detention Sphere. So they kept their card on top. Right, they targeted themselves. Um, so we get rid of this and pray to God my opponent didn't leave a death shadow on top of their deck. No, oh, you bastard. We in trouble now. We in trouble now. Come on. Man. Man. This is kind of poetic justice, right? Sadness on the stack. Oh, man. Wow, we ended up with 45 people in here for tonight. Unfortunately, this is this is where we're going to call it. Um, let me find some place to send you guys. I will be back here uh, tomorrow night. To uh, Tomorrow night, I'm going to be back. I don't know what I'm going to play. Slivers is on the menu, but I, like I said, we might Omaha out of that, depending on what we're doing. I did actually enjoy, I should concede so my opponent can move to the next match here. I shouldn't just, like, be a total jerk to them. Yeah, so this deck, I played, like, a slightly suboptimal version of this deck, I think, because, like, I did it because I wanted to do something cool. And play something that was that was fun, but I had a good time playing it. I tend to uh, give this deck a decent amount of flack, but we'll give it a whirl here. Let's send this you over to Lord of Tupperware. Next slash. Uh, what's this guy's name? T U P P. God, I can't even like Lord Tupperware. It's not of uh, Backlash Host Lord. But again, I'll be back tomorrow. So I appreciate everyone here staying here and hanging out, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the stream. I hope everyone has a good rest of their night and a good rest of their week.